October 12th, 2019. Special extra long vlog. It's going to be a day, but in two days. Today, I'm going hunting with Mark Hunter. First sit of the year. We're going to set up another trail cam, yep. another stand. We're going to check all our trail cams. We're getting ready for the rut. Yes, and then we are. after the rut, we're going to worry about baiting season. Yeah, we're not going to bait anything yet. Uh, we're, we're putting to... some light corn down. We're just putting all the stands up. Here, no, right? we're just making sure that there's does traveling through our areas and we're trying to find them two mature bucks or three or four. I, I only need one. You just need one? <laughs> tomorrow, so we're gonna run this through. Tomorrow morning when I get up, I'm going with Scotty Walton to a special lake where him and I fished a couple years ago and we drilled the snot out of smallmouth bass. So I'm gonna bring this evening's hunt and set up and tomorrow's fishing all one super vlog because those seem to be working a lot better and it's Thanksgiving weekend. Big shout out to all the fear fishing fans. Happy Thanksgiving. If you're spending it with your family, that is awesome. We are doing dinner Monday. Mark, you ready? Oh yeah. It's gonna be a good day, I feel, man. We're gonna get some tree stands up and we're for sure gonna see some deer. Tomorrow, I'm gonna catch some giant smallmouth. Weather is looking good. Fall is in the air. Smallmouth and deer season. Probably means tomorrow we're catching buckets. Let's do this. We made it to the farm, met up with Kelly and John, Jeez, property man. owners. Such nice people. They are the beauties. Right now we're checking trail cam one. We're gonna hang a, tra uh, a tree stand. Yes. We gotta switch up the bait. I'm sure all the bait's gone. I haven't been here in a week. They go pretty quick here. You have your trail cam reader? I do. So we'll be able to check the trail cam quick to see if there's any big bucks. Woo! Let's get this started for we can hunt in two hours. We got two hours to do all this, Mark. We got two hours. Let's do it. Check the first trail cam. Lots of does. No bucks though. Nope. No, but it doesn't mean there's no bucks. It just means the bucks aren't traveling to the bait site. Now we found another spot. My trail can, my tree stand is way over there. I've seen bucks walk down this ridge line. So we are going to hang another stand here in the corner. And hopefully if I see a buck and it marches by my stand, Mr. Hunter's going to be here, or we're just gonna get some more information. We're trying to gather information so that we can most successfully hunt the rut. Then we will move to plan B, which is snow flies and bait the living snot out of them. That's the plan. Time to put up a tree stand. Mark's stand in the woods. That means we got two up. Are you excited? I oh, am. Yeah. Okay, man, let's get your bait out there and your camera set up, and then we're check one more cam, and then we're hunting. It's good wind tonight, too. Real good wind for shooting a deer. Big box. That's what we're looking for, kids. Big box. All right, we've checked all the trail cams. We got feed out. Still no mature bucks, buddy. It's a tough it's go. Really early it is really early. I have a feeling that there's so much food on this property. There's no reason for a buck to come to stand in front of a camera with a little bit of corn. Probably too smart. Hopefully, we're going to see some deer tonight in the field. Keep your eye on the background, not the does in front of you. Who's walking behind the yeah. scenes? Okay, bro, we got to go get ready. Yeah, we do. It's hunting time. Hunting time. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. You too, guys. Keep your eyes open. For a smash. Keep, uh, let me know if you see anything. Well, I'm sure I'll get texts every three days. Yeah. Anything? 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 <laughs> I get excited to see these things. All right, dude. Be safe. Hopefully, Mark sees something. All this wood's behind us. I have no idea what's coming in and out of there because I can't see it from my tree stand. But Mark should have a better advantage. So let's try to creep into the stand. Not bump any deer, and hopefully it's a good sit. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Another deer in the field where my tree stand is. Hanging out early, early, early. I don't know if she saw Mark. No, nope, she's still standing there. Oh, I gotta wait to get in my stand now.
at the last tower. We are back to the truck. Mark, you saw seven deer out there at once. I saw three, and then I seen another two, and I thought, wow, five. And then I seen another two. Oh, that was more more deer this so far tonight than I did all last first, season. First first sit of the year, and you saw more than last year. Ah, uh, yeah. The yep. same with me. So I saw a doe when I was walking like in, in there. Person. In, in person. In person, yeah. I saw a doe when I was walking in there. Yep. I seen the three you saw. Yep. And then I seen another doe who was at, or came out right at last light. So yeah. all together we saw nine deer tonight, different deer. And I seen like 10 turkey probably. I saw a bunch of turkeys too. You're very successful. What are you doing tomorrow? I am closing up the trailer. I here. am going fish, uh, fishing with Mr. Scott Walton. We're going to drive home. We're going to get everything in the house. You're going home, and I I'm am. going to bed. So we will see you all. I'm going to eat dinner. In the morning. I'm going to eat dinner, too. And it's not venison. No, no, not yet. We need those <laughs> bucks to show. Gone. We need those bucks to show. Yeah, they will. They will. I'm confident they will. So I will see you guys in the morning, and we're going fishing, and Mark's going to do his trailer. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Back to it. 6.30 in the morning, October 13th. Last night, uh, we were deer hunting and let you guys go. This morning, we were up early. We were going bass fishing with Mr. Scott Walton, frozen tundra, on a little lake near Trenton, Ontario. So we are up, we are pumping gas. I'm going to meet Scotty in about an hour, and hopefully the fish bite it is. Three degrees Canadian right now. Let's hope those fish go. I will see you when we get to Trenton and find Mr. Walton. Made her to find the tundra. What's up, folks? What's up, homie? Not much, man. Early, eh? Yeah. It's kind of cold. Yeah, it is. My truck says it's two degrees Canadian now. That's nice. Yeah, nice. it's cold. You excited? Yeah. We're going to catch some fish. I hope so. I think we're going to get some. I haven't caught a fish in like forever. The wind isn't as bad as it was calling for. Not yet. Not yet. No, but we got lots of seagulls here. We got lots of seagulls on the Walmart parking lot. Yeah. Let's get you loaded up right. and uh, let's get to the lake. We still got like a bit to drive, right? Did you get me a coffee? Yeah. I'm going to put it in the Yeti so it stays cold for the next six weeks. <laughs> We're almost there. I'm pumped to fish. Couple more shots of Buckley's and I'm gonna be ready to go. Get your stuff in the boat, Scott. Made her to the, I guess it's kind of a launch. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have a good, good, we're good go, go here. here. So yeah. the last time we were here, we almost drowned my truck. Yeah. This time, the guy wouldn't take our money because he doesn't think we can get in here. So I'll show you guys right now what's going on. Here's the boat ramp. And for about as far as we can see, it's shallow. So the good thing I brought my hunting rubbers, you're gonna back me in. Yeah. And then you are gonna just back out there as far as you can until we get this off the trailer. And then I'm gonna wear rubbers. And then First you're gonna- I've you're, rubbers in a long time. You're gonna have to wear my rubber boots to yeah. get you in the boat and back out of the boat. Yeah. But if we get in here, there should be some good smallmouth fish. Yeah. We're hoping. Probably Is there buckets here? here? Yeah, there's some buckets here. Okay, man, you wanna give this a go? Yeah. If we can't get it in, we'll go fishing somewhere else. But we're getting it in. The guy was like at the launch, he was like, I don't think you can get it in there. And I was like, obviously you've never met me before. Fishing time. <laughs> All right, 
As we can see here, there's no real launch. We're just hoping that we can get the truck back far enough that the boat floats and I can drive it off. So far, we're not good enough. We're gonna try this. Hold on. Well, that's a fail. Tundra, we had her, how far are we? We're we went in the there, doors. we were up to the doors. Like when I saw you open the door to talk to me, water came the out. water was like brushing at the doors. There is uh, hopefully a new lift kit going on this truck. We could really use that right now. So we gotta go find either another launch or another lake to fish. This has turned into an adventure. It's now not just fishing. People at the trailer park were super nice though. Yeah. They told us there's lots of water in the spring. <laughs> they knew that. We'll figure this out. We got this. We just need some deep, just wait. like a deep ledge. Just drive it right off the bank. Just right off the bank. Okay, we'll keep you filled in on this. Made it to plan B. Scotty, this is not really where we want to fish. No, but well, we're going to get them here. It, well, it'll do. I, I don't think it's going to be as good as the other spot we were going to go to, but there'll be some fish kicking around here. Hey, you want to just get the front of the boat while I tell them where, what we're doing? I've never been here this time of year, but I have been here in the summertime. There is some big smallies here. There's some big musky. I don't think I've ever caught a largemouth here. Today's the day we give her a go. Hopefully, the water here is deep enough and we can launch the boat, but it's going to be touch and go here for a minute. Here, I'm going to push down. You push the button there to uh, loosen her off. Push down on the uh, nubby. Yeah, there we go. One, two. Okay, you ready, Scotty? Hopefully, we get the bolt in the water this time. That That's like step one to catching bass. Ready, set, fish.
the water. Pretty good couple hours of fishing. Scotty, you got a good one? Yeah, man. We're... That was about a four pounder. Eight pounds. Eight pounds? Yeah. Scott's eight, real life four. The, uh, that was not bad for a few hours fishing though. No, we did all right. You know what, I'm really, I'm really glad we couldn't launch at the other lake because it'd be so windy out there now. Yeah, it wouldn't have been fishable. This was an all right smallmouth Thanksgiving weekend kind of jam. Yeah. We got to get poor Scotty here home to his mama because it's Thanksgiving dinner for you today, isn't it? Is that what you're doing? We're going, yeah. You're going for Thanksgiving? Yeah, hey, do you guys do turkey or ham or what do you do? I, think, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. You don't have any idea? No clue. Does she switch it up every year? No, I don't know. It's food. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, Mama Walton. Hope things are well. She's the watcher of the vlog. We are on our way home. Scotty, thanks for fishing today, dude. Thanks for bringing me. Anytime. It's been a while. It has been a while. It's always a pleasure to fish with you, my man. Hey, why don't you give me some knuckles while you strap my boat on for me? Yeah. You're the man, bro. We are headed home because I got to do some Thanksgiving this weekend too. Boom. We are at the Walmart. This is the sad part of the video. Yeah. Tundra, you got to go. Yeah. Buddy, thanks yeah. a lot for coming fishing thanks today. for taking me. Hey, let's not wait well, forever again to do this. Yeah. You know what I the other- lots of time on my hands. You know what the other thing is? Yeah. You are the tournament organizer for the Bay Quinney Bassmasters. I guess. People yeah. can sign up, right? Yeah. Right now you can sign up to be part of the club for next year. They have till January 1st to get their dues in, yeah. or the, it costs more. It costs more, yeah. Yep, so can they reach you on Facebook? And you can sure. give them the or information? Bob or, or Bob or, or Pete. Pete? Yeah, sure. Okay, bro, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, so, uh, buddy, that's three fist pumps in a row. Yeah. Okay, happy Thanksgiving, have a good time. Say hi to your mom and toots for me. And uh, get your rods and your gear out of my boat, I'm going home. Later, bro. Thanks, man. Bye. I've made it home. I don't even know what that was. Made it home from Fishing with Mr. Tundra. Beauty of a day. Old studio's falling apart here. Beauty of a day. That is awesome. Last night I got to go deer hunting with Mark Hunter. Today I got to go fishing with Scotty Walton. I don't get to see Scotty enough. I don't get to hang out with Mark enough. I don't get to see Sean enough. I don't get to see Marley enough. To see Mercer Marine enough. Any of those guys. It's Thanksgiving weekend here up in Canada. Be thankful. Well, I'm thankful for all the great friends I have to hunt and fish with. I'm thankful that my family lets me do do this and I'm really thankful that all you guys watch because it wouldn't matter any of this if nobody watched it. Now it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to spend the rest of Sunday and Monday hanging with the family doing our Thanksgiving jam. Tomorrow we are going to Amber's mom's house and it's going to be awesome because I'm making the turkey and we're going to wrap that bugger in bacon. Be thankful for the friends you have, the family. Hunting is a community thing. I like it, It's a friend thing. I like going fishing and hunting by myself, which is awesome. It's still like a little thinking time, but spending time with your friends and your family in the outdoors, or just in general, is something pretty amazing and that we all need to, we should all be very thankful for. This week, probably lay off those does a little bit. Maybe if we get a super nice day, I'm gonna go back to my favorite spot and try to catch some more buckets. I wanna go there so bad before the end of the season. I know when I filmed there a couple weeks ago, I was like, well, this is probably the last kick of the can. Water today, 55 degrees, they'll bite for sure. The only problem is, is it's fall and it's really windy. So we'll have to see how that works. Guys, girls, make sure you tell a friend about the Fear Fishing YouTube channel. Go and tell somebody. I know you guys are all gonna have Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, sitting around, looking to start up a conversation. Tell your uncles, tell your aunts, tell your grandparents, tell your nephews and nieces to subscribe. I'm going to hang out with the Fam Jam. Enjoy the Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. We'll see you soon.